hello hello again how is everybody doing today traveling solo electro here one more time all right first of all i want to say thank you to subscribers uh everybody thank you out there for subscribing watching the video so i hope you've been enjoying but today i decided to do a review on the v11 been riding this thing so figured i haven't done a video about it so i'm gonna do a video about this right here what we riding on so let's ride around and let me tell you my experience with it all right here we go You got to see it in motion see it being ridden uh, i'm gonna jump off the v11 and i'm gonna give you my review about it because i've watched reviews before i bought it so i'll give you my intake of what i think about this electronic machine here with one wheel so let's find a good place to pull over i'll take off the old trusty helmet and let's talk about it all right Let's go. All right, I'm off. I got some geese over here that are talking to me. So there went the geese. So let's talk about this machine right here. This right here is, it's called a V11 in motion. You can see it's got a headlamp I believe that's an 18 inch tire your power button a tail light and a kickstand you got your side pads here and these are called power pads they were extra and then I added this right here so You can see it right there. All right, so I'm sitting down here with it because uh, I figured it'd be easier this way, just to film it and have free hands. But, so this is the V11 right here. It has a range up to 60 miles on a full charge, and it can go up to 30 miles an hour. If not, I believe a little more, um, maybe a couple more miles. I haven't got it up to that speed because to be quite honest, I just, I just don't need to go that fast. So, uh, without the padding whenever I first had this, it was definitely a lot more difficult for me. It took me about an hour to two hours to actually just be able to go back and forth on it. So, that before I had this padding here. So, that right there was definitely a challenge. It won't go forward or backwards once that you turn it on. It will fall over side to side. So once that you get some momentum, it's definitely um, not hard uh, to stay balanced. It's just keeping your balance left and right. But straight forward and backwards, it's as stable as can be. And it's actually interesting, if you go down a hill, you would think that the wheel would do that, but it levels itself out. So it lets you go like you're going down, it reminds me of going down an escalator. So. That right there is pretty cool. All right, let's look at something else. So another cool part is this right here. This is the handle. You push on it and then you can walk it around. Um, very sturdy, uh, easy to push around. It's not hard at all. So I really like that feature because you, for me, I do have to get off and walk sometimes just to get my, uh, 
just to get my uh, honestly just to get some feeling back into my feet so I think it has to do something with age I just wanted to show this real quick this padding right here it for for folks I would suggest this I put this on here because the more I guess the more that you have to your legs the more stable it is you don't have the wobbles um, so definitely if you get one I highly suggest putting padding on there the padding is where it's at and will definitely make your ride a lot easier now this light right here is in its standard mode it will just shine but you can turn it on so there you go and this LED light is definitely very bright at night I have no issues seeing anything at night while riding this and right there is your tire it is pretty big and definitely at least the size of a motorcycle tire or something of that nature so that tire has no problems and probably the coolest feature the reason why i bought this is because it has shocks on it it actually has air shocks so whenever you go over a bump a hump a rock or something it bounces you so it's just so much smoother i don't know if any of y'all have ever ridden a hoverboard or anything without shocks that's electronic you hit a bump and it's you know it's it's jarring so this right here it eliminates all that it's really nice on you and, and of course again me getting older i had to get something that's easy on my on my legs now the last thing is to me uh getting on it everybody is wondering how do you get on it i can't lie to you i've had this thing for a couple months and i still use something to kind of stand up on it the reason why i like to position my feet correctly so then that way i don't get no wobbles and i don't have to adjust them while trying to ride i'm still getting used to the balance so it's uh it's a challenge but it is a lot of fun uh, I suggest these for for everybody um, who wants to just do commuting around they're awesome for that I mean just going from from A to B uh, I take it to the store I take it to go to the gym I take it all over the place so it's definitely definitely worth getting if you are considering one yeah B11 has been awesome well I could go if you if you want me to subscribers or anybody out there if you want me to go a little bit more in debt just let me know in the comments below um, I can tell you more about it but overall it this was my first electronic wheel and I love it I love this thing uh, so I would suggest any of y'all if you're thinking about getting one do it because you won't regret it the only thing you might regret is whenever you fall off but wear your safety gear and you should be better off than with nothing on so let's hop on it we'll head out and uh let's just go ride around i'm gonna go ride around you all have seen what uh earlier some of the places so i'm just gonna go back and forth here and might head on down somewhere else you never know all right guys till next adventure Abita's uh,